First, open the instrument box and check whether the relevant items therein are complete. Items available in this box include First, one Explorer handheld X fluorescence analyzer. Second, two dedicated batteries for instrument. Third, one instrument charger. Fourth, one onboard charger. Fifth, one USB data cable. Sixth, one card reader. Seventh, one adapter. Eighth, one piece of power cord. Ninth, one dedicated instrument card. Tenth, one dedicated instrument schedule. Eleventh, one Bluetooth printer. Please make sure that the batteries are fully charged prior to the use of instrument. After the instrument is removed, insert the dedicated batteries into the bottom of the instrument and make the high pressure lock on. Test a sample demonstration. Step 1. Power on. For handheld instrument, keep pressing the power on button over 3 seconds so that the power light flashes green. At this moment, system boot will be seen and the software will be automatically entering to the main interface in use mode. This process will last for about 60 seconds. Please wait. Step 2. Initialize the calibration. In the event that the instrument is used for the first time or reused after it is put aside for a long period, complete the initialized calibration. Generally, it is okay if there is one time for initialization for each week. On the main interface, click Test Results and go on to click the Initialization button. The green colored instrument indicator light charges into red flashes and the instrument has been initialized. This process usually lasts over 10 seconds. Step 3. Test the sample. Attach the test terminal of instrument closely on surface of the sample to be tested. Pull the trigger to carry out the test of sample and keep squeezing the trigger until the test is over. In a process of test, the indicator light will change from green color into red flashing. The software interface will display the following steps and test results will be gradually displayed. Move the motor, searching for matching curve, closest to curve steel, and waiting for test until the test is over. At this moment, the interface will present a clear display of test results of various elements. Step 4. Data Processing Report Print Click Operate Print button to get connected to the Bluetooth printer and print the test report of the current sample. Report Export Click Operate Report Export button to export the saved report into memory card. The report can be copied into the computer for view and print. Second, Introduction of other software functions. 2.1 Demonstration of the Operate Interface functions. On the main interface, click the Operate button and you can see such options as Open Spectrogram, History, Database, Switch Over, Report Export, and Print, etc. 2.1.1 Open Spectrogram. Click the Open Spectrogram to view the previously scanned spectrograms. Select the spectrogram and click the Preview button to preview the shape of spectrogram. Select the spectrogram and click the OK button to view the test results of this sample. 2.1.2 View History Click the History button to view history records and carry out such operations as Delete, Clear, or Export. Delete. Select the spectrogram and click the Delete button to delete this spectrogram. Spectrogram of standard sample cannot be deleted. Clear. Click the Clear button to clear the data in spectrogram. Spectrogram of standard sample cannot be cleared. Export. Click the Export button to export the spectrogram data. 2.1.3 Database Switch Over Click Database Switch Over to carry out the selection of industrial database spectrogram. After the selection, the software will automatically reboot 
and enter into the main interface. 2.1.4 Report Export Click the Report Export button to export all the saved reports into memory card, which can be copied into the computer for print. 2.1.5 Print Click the Print button to get connected to Bluetooth printer and print the test report of current sample. 2.2 Demonstration of Setup Function On the main interface, click the Setup button to access to the interface of setting up the system. On this interface, it is allowable to carry out the setup of screen rotation, screen calibration, mode of trigger pulling, and software language. 2.3 Demonstration of System Time Setup Function To set up the time of system on the main interface of software, double-click the time 1912 at the top right corner of this interface. At this moment, the time setup interface will pop up, then you can set up the system time according to current time zone. Third, Standby and Shutdown Standby When the instrument is normally activated, Press down the switch button of the instrument for one second, and then release it. The instrument will be in the standby mode. Wake up! In the standby mode of instrument, press down the switch button of instrument for one second, and then release it. The instrument will exit the standby mode. Shut down! In a normal activation of instrument, keep pressing the switch button over three seconds and the instrument will be automatically shut down. Finally, remove the batteries and pick up the instrument. Precautions for safe use First, about the protection of beryllium window of detector. Once the beryllium window of detector is broken, Due to the effect of external force, device may not be normally used as a result. Therefore, care shall be taken to handle the detector lightly when using it, and do not use fingers or fingertips to touch the window film. Be careful that the test film of a window shall be kept from any cutting edge object in order to prevent the scratches or breakage of such film, which may give rise to the damage of beryllium window of detector. Second, precautions for safe use of radiation. In test, never target a device at others in order to prevent any radioactive injury to them.